today we will discuss about different built in data types in python we will see their examples and we will verify them using type function okay so let's begin in python we have different type of data types like we have text type as example we can say string we have numeric types like int float complex we have sequence types mapping types set types boolean types and binary types we will see each of their examples and verify them using the type function okay So I am starting with the text type which is which is string okay so first of all I will declare a variable here which contains a string suppose uh, that says India now I want to check the data type of a print type a okay now if I run this code you can see that the data type of the a is str that means string okay now uh, in python we can define string using single quote or double quote if i replace the single quotes with double quotes it's the same thing okay no problem now we will watch some numeric types of data types okay so let's start with int then float and complex so i am replacing india with suppose 2 okay Oh, sorry yes with two now if i run the code you can see that that says it's an integer int now let's see an example of float type so i write here 3.14 which is a value of pi now if i run it says that it's a float type now let's uh, see an example of a complex number so if i write 2 plus 4j and i hit run button now it says that it's a complex number okay so these are some numeric type of data types now let's look into some sequence types okay so let's start with the list then tuple and range now i am starting with the list i am declaring here uh, i am declaring here a list actually the list elements are enclosed inside this third bracket and they are uh, separated by commas so i will declare some elements inside code okay now if i run type of a and run this code it says it's a list this is an integer list we can also make string list or mixed type of list so i am making here a mix mixed type of list suppose i am adding here uh, kiit okay now if i run this is also a list but the, we can see that uh, we can uh, store different type of data types inside list okay the list is done now now let's now what is left now let's uh, see example of tuple okay so basically tuples are immutable we after declaring a tuple we can't change the data inside it and tuples are closed with the first bracket this bracket so i will declare some uh, elements inside it 4 comma 5 comma 6 enough now if i hit the run, run button it says it's a tuple tuples can also store different type of data types like if i uh, add here suppose karnataka and if i run this this is also a valid tuple okay now we will look into some examples of range okay so i am declaring here a range suppose range 5 and it will show that it is a range now what is range let me show you here if i print a if i print a it says range 0 comma 5 that means it gives me the values 
the integer number between 0 and 5 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay this range is also used in loops for the iterations now we have a very interesting data type here which is dictionary okay so uh, here i am declaring a dictionary and the dictionary elements are stored in the second bracket and inside it i will write these are actually the dictionary is made of key value pairs okay the first is key and the second one is value and each uh, each key value pair is separated using a comma okay so first of all suppose i am writing uh, rohan and this is the key and the value is suppose 1 and uh, and i am separating the next uh, key value pair with this one using a comma and our next key is suppose ram and the value is suppose 2 okay now if i hit the run button you can see here that uh, we have a key value pair this is the first pair and this is the second pair suppose the ram is a student and his role is 2 and rohan is a student and his role is 1 okay now let's check the type of the data type for this i need to write type and then a and inside the brackets i need to write very sorry very sorry type i need to write print type and a okay now if i hit the run button it says it's a dict dict that means dictionary now we will look into the example of some set okay so i am declaring a set here sets are enclosed with the third bracket second bracket sorry so my set set elements are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 and if i hit the run button it says it's a set now here is the interesting fact about set that it is consists of unique elements so if i write here more 6 and suppose more 7 and if i add a, another 3 here and then i try to print the a yes then we can see that the only unique elements are printed no repetitions are printed here not 2 7 are printed only 1 7 is printed here okay 1 3 is printed here 1 6 is printed here that how the set works now let's see an example of a frozen set what is frozen set that uh, i will make another video for that okay so frozen set this is the syntax actually is inside frozen set i need to declare a normal set 1 2 3 4 5 6 now if i want to check the type of the a now if i hit the run button you can see that uh, this call this is showing uh, frozen set okay now we will look into some examples of boolean so if i delete this whole thing yes, if i delete this whole thing and right here suppose 2 now if i run this button you can see that this is a bool if i replace it with false it says bool now let's look into some examples of the binary types which is bytes okay so i will write here b suppose world now if i hit the run button it says bytes and now let's look example of byte array so i need to write here byte array suppose 10 okay so if i run this it says byte array this is these are the these are actually the syntaxes uh, in details i will make uh, separate videos for these data types that uh, that how this works and uh, all now let's uh, see an example of this uh, memory view okay so i will write here memory view and inside it i will write bytes suppose 10 okay 10 is enough 10 and if i run it it says memory view okay so we have 
covered all the types and we have seen all kind of examples okay that's all for the video and uh, about these last data types about which i did not say anything in detail i will make separate video for each one of them so thank you for watching this video see you again bye